Every year, lung cancer causes over one and a half million deaths worldwide. This is more than any other cancer. Approximately 85% of lung cancer cases are a type of lung cancer called non-small cell lung cancer. 5% of these cases are anaplastic lymphoma kinase positive lung cancer. This is more commonly known as ALK positive non-small cell lung cancer. ALK positive non-small cell lung cancer is caused by a change in the DNA of the cells. This change is caused when the ALK gene and another gene combine or fuse. The most common fusion partner in ALK positive non-small cell lung cancer is EML4. The combined ALK gene creates ALK fusion proteins. When the ALK fusion proteins combine into pairs, the protein is switched on. Once the protein is turned on, it begins signaling and sends messages in the cell. It will send signals at high frequency within the cell, which eventually lead to tumor growth. Normal ALK proteins cannot be switched on unless another molecule binds to them. However, in ALK-positive non-small cell lung cancer, the fused ALK protein pairs can turn themselves on, starting cell signaling processes. Messages in the cell are shared using three different signaling pathways. These pathways cause cancerous cells to divide, multiply, and survive. This process means that cancerous cells can multiply and grow to become tumors. To stop this growth process, a type of treatment, called an ALK inhibitor, can be used. ALK inhibitors for ALK-positive non-small cell lung cancer can function in different ways. Some ALK inhibitors are more specific than others, only targeting the ALK fusion protein, while some also inhibit other receptors. But how do ALK inhibitors work? ALK inhibitors bind to the protein pairs and stop them from switching on and signaling within the cell. With the signaling turned off by the ALK inhibitors, normal cell signaling processes can start again, stopping the multiplication of cancer cells and causing the cancer cells to die.